Uh, hi guys, it's Dan Gretsch, founder and CEO of BizHack Academy. And I have here um, Carol Heller. She and her husband run a business called Cognitive Therapy Florida. Um, and um, Carol uh, has a Facebook account, a personal Facebook page, uh, but she does not have a business page on Facebook. Um, she does not have a business manager account on Facebook. Um, and she's never run ads on Facebook. So what we're gonna do here during this tutorial is we're going to quickly build her a Facebook business page. And then once she has her personal account and her Facebook business page, we're then going to help her create a business manager account for that business. So uh, how's that sound to you, how, Carol? Perfect, thank you. You're welcome. So I've actually went ahead and I have control over her screen. Um, so what we're gonna do now first is uh, everybody has to have a personal Facebook profile in order to advertise on Facebook. And this personal Facebook profile is, should be you yourself as a human being. Sometimes they'll ask you to upload a driver's license to verify your identity. Don't create a personal profile that is of someone else or the name of your business and pretend to have it be a person. The risk you take if you try to create a personal profile that is not directly identified to your identity is at any moment, Facebook will shut you down. They essentially consider that a spamming activity. So there are a lot of folks who have personal profiles that are actually um, of their business, like their personal profile is called, you know, Cognitive Therapy Florida. And that is not at all what we recommend. That's not a best practice. And Facebook will periodically go and shut down personal profiles with business names. So the key components to building a Facebook business manager account are you need a personal profile of your person and you need a Facebook business page for your business. Now, most businesses already have a Facebook business page. If you're not the owner or the administrator of that page, you do need to get at minimum editor access of that page in order to be able to run ads for it. So uh, the first thing that we're gonna do is we're gonna now create from scratch a, uh, a business page for her. So you click the plus button and you hit page. And we're now going to create a page. This is a business page. If you're a nonprofit, you still use it. If you're a trade association, they're all considered business pages in Facebook. Facebook, can, and they used to, like years and years ago, if you've been, if you're kind of OG Facebook, they used to have different categories, but now every organization or business has to have a profile uh, for it that's called the business page. So we're gonna create a page. Um, the page should be ideally the name of your business. So uh, I'm sorry, it's, could you say the name again? Carol, what's been I, I was on mute. So um, it, cognitive behavioral <laughs> therapy. That's the name of your business? Yes. And then Florida, right? That's the URL. The Florida is part of the URL. Yeah. But so you can do that. Let's, yeah. let's quickly take a look at your website. What is your website URL? Cognitive Behavioral Therapy FL. Cognitive, sorry, Cognitive Therapy FL.com. Yeah, yeah, that's it. So Cognitive Behavioral Therapy. So you have a name that is not trademarkable because it is a um, description of a type of therapy, Correct. which is absolutely fine. Um, but your business is registered as cognitive behavioral therapy. Uh, and obviously you put that in your URL. So um, we should be fine uh, calling it cognitive behavioral therapy, Florida. The category is, let's see. Do any of those? 
psychologist. It's down a little bit. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So let me just check if there's men mental health before we pick that. Psychologist is better. Okay. So you want psychologist. Mm -hmm. Sorry. What's happening is I'm misspelling it. Sorry. It's P S Y C. Okay. All right. So category is psychologist. And then the description, let me just quickly see if there's anything here. Is there anything from this website that you want me to use as the description? Maybe this. Is that okay if I use that as the description? You're on mute. All right, so Carol, is that okay if I use that as a description? You're on mute. I'm trying to unmute. I'm trying to unmute myself, but you're driving, so it's hard. I'm stealing the yeah. yes. So the answer is yes. That's fine. Okay. Yeah. Just leave yourself off mute unless you're in a loud spot. Okay. Well, I might be. So I might mute myself again. So. Okay. No worries. So it's pretty straightforward, right? That so that uh, is the basics. You hit. I think that all you need to do is hit create page. It's been a while since I've done this myself. So you have a page, it's that simple. Great. Um, yeah, so here it appears is the page. This is the desktop preview. This is the, um, and then you can see here, there's like a little messaging button. So I'm just trying to figure out, let's see what happens if we do this. So that's messaging and then Let me see if there's more. So let's go back now to here. Let me go ahead and just refresh. So now we're going back here. Let's see if the page shows up. And that I think is it right there. Mm -hmm. so one thing you'll notice guys is, um, when you do something and it, and it takes like it did, sometimes you have to refresh the page to see it. So don't like, just don't resubmit it like you might have been tempted to do. Rather, it's there. And you can see there's the URL. And then it says, connect your Facebook page to WhatsApp. Um, that's an optional activity. Did you wanna do that? Are you on WhatsApp? And do you want people to be able to reach you that way? Um, let, me, let me ask. The doctor per, yeah, per so se. I, I will I will X out of that for now. So this means you won't be able to run WhatsApp ads. Remember, WhatsApp is owned by Facebook. Facebook also owns Instagram and Messenger. So it's very, very powerful to connect WhatsApp to your Facebook page, but it's by no means required. And you can see here that you have a page, and that's the URL of the page right there. Mm -hmm. So now this is like your Facebook business page presence and you can add a button, which we recommend. Um, and you know, you can do call now and what's your phone number for your business? Five, six, one, four, five, one, two, seven, three, one. So this course is not about how to create an awesome Facebook business page. You do need one in order to be able to run an ad. But really, you know, your first homework assignment is to go ahead and go through here and build it up a little bit, okay? Okay, got it. But you actually have the page now, which is what you needed. Next, you're gonna go to, so, so now you have a personal profile and a business page. Next is you need to create a Facebook business manager account. And this is more complicated than it should be. But the key here, guys, 
is to go to business.facebook.com slash overview. And you will see this page. And um, Carol, I'll give you one guess about what we want to do. We're going to create the business manager page for, for that business. Exactly. So the key here is that the business account name is exactly Be Behavioral Therapy Florida. Exactly the same as the name you gave your business page. Your name is Carol Heller. And then what is your email address for Facebook? This is the same as your login address for Facebook. Okay, that was Cheller, C-H-E-L-L-E-R, 2003 at gmail, three at gmail.com. <clears throat> so you'll get an email, you don't need to do it right now, but you'll get an email confirming that this is your email address, but you have now created a business manager account. This is good stuff for you to review on your own time, go through this tutorial, but we're gonna focus now on getting you finished with your setup. So the, nothing about this process is intuitive. Um, I wanna point out by the way, that this is the new business manager. Um, they call it Facebook Business Suite. This was introduced uh, in late 2010, 2020, excuse me. And there are still some people who don't even have it looking like this, but this is the direction that Facebook's business manager is gonna look. And if for anybody who's creating a new business manager, it will look like this. So what you wanna do is you wanna to go to something called business settings and business settings is not settings. I know that's confusing. It's under more tools, business settings. And what we're gonna do now is it's not enough to have created a business manager account you need to add your page to it. So what it's showing you is that you have two accounts. You have your personal account, which is connected to your individual self, and then a business account, which is connected to your business page. So let me pause here for a second. When you advertise on behalf of a business on Facebook, you don't wanna advertise as you yourself, you wanna advertise as the business entity. And that means you need to connect the business manager to your business page and advertise as the business, not as Carol Heller. Does that make sense, Carol? Yes. Yeah, and you'll see all along the way, you'll have an opportunity to pick between the business account and your personal account. And you always, always, always are gonna to wanna to be in your business account. If you're in your personal account, it could mess things up. So this, okay. is, this is confusing and annoying and it's something you just need to be attentive to um, as you go along. Now, we're gonna go into the pages and you'll see that it doesn't have a page. Now, isn't that kind of weird? Because don't you have a business page? We yes. just created one. Right. In fact, here it is. But what's happened is Facebook has not connected this page to your business manager account. Right. So that's what we have to do is we have to tell Facebook that this business page is part of the business manager account. Think of this as like an empty box and you're filling the box now with different assets. I'm gonna give you one guess as to what to do next. We're going to connect the, the page to this account. And what button should you press? Add. No. That would make sense, right? Well, let me see, because I let me see what other options. I can't see what's, what else is there. Yeah, I will show you. You got to move, move our faces. Or oh, request access to a page, maybe? I can't see. I got to move you. Let me move yeah, that's you. all right. There are three options. There's oh, add okay. a page, request access to a page, and create a new page. And 
I would say request access. Exactly, and that's not right. Neither is add a page. This is where everybody makes mistakes. <laughs> create a new page. Really? Um, actually, this is actually, never mind. It should be add a page. Let me, so if you don't have a business page, you could have created it right in here. Mm -hmm. Request access to a page is if you don't have the administrative access, what I believe you actually need to do is add a page because you have an existing page and you just need to attach it. And so you could either type in the name or just cut and paste this URL and let's see what happens. Is that you? Mm-hmm. Yep. So Perfect. if add a page was the correct option if you have an existing business page. All right, now, cognitive behavioral therapy is when you hit pages, now it shows up and it shows Carol Heller and it shows that Carol has full control of the page. So you're good. You, your page is attached. Now, um, you're gonna add an ad account. And it says you're restricted from advertising. Let's see what they say about that. And my guess is that this might not, this might be because um, you haven't yet verified oh. your account. Okay. And, and a lot of times that ad accounts are restricted uh, when you first create it because they want to avoid spamming. So this is not a, a typical experience. So let's do this. I'm going to stop sharing for a sec. Actually, do you mind if we go, if, if you want to take over control, could you go to your email and see if the email came in yet? Yes, it's there. All right. Would you mind? Um, I am. I'm doing it on my phone, actually. Okay, great. So um, um, visit ready to get started. So congratulations, you've joined, add a page description, upload photo, create post, but it doesn't have me verified. Let me look at something else. Oh, confirm, okay, got it, I'm confirming. Okay. So it's confirmed. Great. Oh, so I have to log in, sorry. The email. And this is not atypical for folks who have never had a business page before. And just so people, if you don't mind, um, does one of these tabs have your in inbox so we can just look at the email that they sent you? Yes. Uh, I, can't, I can't see behind it. You drive. No, not there. Go up to my... Field market. Oh, no, no, no. I don't know what you did with my Chrome. Okay, here. Let's see if that's it. Um, sorry about this. No problem. No, you have to go Gmail. There, yeah. there you go. One of those. No, the other one next to it. Sorry about this. No, not even either. Sorry, it's on the bottom. Go to the bottom. I forgot. I have three email accounts all the way to the bottom. It's okay. actually no, not no, no, no. Go all the way down, 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 down. Hold on, let me drive. Yeah, I'm, I'm leaving it. Okay, there. Facebook. Okay, here's the confirm email. Got it. Okay, perfect. Thank you. So let me do it here. Oh, nice. okay. So you've been verified. All right. And so now you'll see we're kind of back to where we were just a minute ago in business settings. Um, let's see. I'm going to drive again. Let's see if they... Okay. So we're still restricted from advertising. I don't think this will be forever. Um, but you know, because you're a brand new business, you might, it might take a minute. Now, let me just do, see if there's one other thing we can do, uh, which is if we, we want to create the pixel, which is important for retargeting. And we'll explain more about that in the course, you go to events manager and they might not let us do this yet because you don't have an ad account, but let's see. So, okay. Next, next, done. Okay, so let's see if, so it's got a default set. So 
So this is um, this is where we would normally be creating the mm -hmm. um, what's something called the pixel, but I'm not seeing a way to do it quite yet. Um, so you know, there's no kind of uh, perfect setup experience. It's always got sort of <laughs> hiccups along the way. Um, but it, we are in the right spot to create um, what's called the pixel. The pixel is in uh, a little piece of code that you need to create uh, in order to um, be able to do uh, tracking uh, and advertising of people who visit your website. Um, but I think that the reason we're not able to do it, and I'm not surprised, is I don't think we can create a pixel um, until you have your uh, ad account set up. So maybe it takes a little bit of time for the whole thing to... Yeah, when you have a new page, it seems like it would take you time. So we're probably, we're kind of almost there, uh, but we will need to, uh, you know, do a part two until this access uh, doesn't get restricted. But it's good that we got this started now. Uh, you know, we don't run the first ad until week two or three of the course. So okay. you have a couple weeks to resolve this issue, but you're kind of 80% of the way there. You have a business page, you have a business manager account and you've connected your page. All you need to do now is create an ad account um, and you will be all set. So all right, so I'll do... check it tomorrow and see yeah. if it lets me do it. If not, we'll troubleshoot. And we have a technical lab uh, on the Tuesday after the start of class where we go over this. Um, and if you're still stuck on this place, you should come to the technical lab and we'll see if we can help get this resolved. Yeah, yeah, I'm planning on coming. I just have a commitment and I don't know if I can get there right at 12. That was my concern. Yeah, but, no worries at all. But so I what should I'm be there by now is while we're, while we're here, I'm going to take a minute and I'm going to show you what I see in my setup account just to kind of give, um, are you able to see my screen? Yes. So when you have a business account that's set up correctly, it looks like this. And when you go to the business settings, you see the same thing, but it's a lot more robust. Mm -hmm. Go to pages, you can see my, my Facebook page is there. And you can see that I have manage page access to it. So just like what you saw, you see now here, mm -hmm. if you want to add people, you can just add people and you can add anyone you want to give them additional access. And then here's the ad accounts. So you can see that I have a BizHack Academy ad account and you can see that I also have manage ad account access. Right, so in my case, it's not showing up there when we That's click right. on ad accounts. It doesn't, it's not connected somehow. Okay. And, and so what most people are going to do in this situation is they're going to go in here and they're going to go to add and they're going to, in this case, create a new ad account because most of the people who take this program have not advertised before. So the add an ad account and request access to an ad account are actually not the right options. Right. You only add an account or a page if you have an existing ad account or page already. That's what kind of confused me on the pages. But for most of you, since you've never advertised before, you're going to actually create a new ad account. And in this case, all you have to do, and I'm not going to complete it because I already have one, is you would put BizHack Academy ad account, click next. You say it's my business, and then you hit create. So I'm not going to hit create, but that is literally it. That's all you have to do. But now it's not letting account. me do that, right? Right. At this point, I, I can't do that. What, right. For the reason we've discussed that your right. account is disabled because you're a brand new page. Right. So okay. now that's how you create an ad account. Really simple. And then the last piece is you go to data sources. Uh, and I think the easiest way is to go into this business tools menu. And you go to events manager. And this is where you create your pixel. Um, and you can see that I've already created a pixel uh, right up here. Mm -hmm. um, and there's one pixel per uh, business account. So this is what uh, a created pixel looks like. And 
a lot of you guys probably have heard that Apple and uh, Facebook are in a big war about privacy. And this is um, the warning about that. I haven't actually gone in yet um, and adjusted uh, based on that. So, so that's something I'll do a, a future video on. But you can see that here is the pixel that I've created. Um, and I actually have that pixel uh, on my website. And I'll show you that here in a sec. So I go to bizhack.com and there's this nifty plugin on Chrome that allows you to monitor what pixels, it's called Facebook Pixel Helper. And you can see that it says bizhacks, this is public information, literally you could do this to your competitors, you can do this for anyone. And you can see that there is my pixel ID right there. When I go back, so it's one, four, six, five, et cetera. And when you go in here and you look, one, four, six, five. Do you see that? So it's the same pixel that I'm finding on my website and verifying it's firing through Facebook Pixel Helper is inside of my business manager account. You can see it's on the website, bizhack.com, and the number is the same. So then after you create the pixel, do you have to go into the website and add it in there? Exactly. And because everybody has a different CMS, content management system, the process for installing the pixel differs based on what your CMS is. So I run WordPress. Right. And in WordPress, there's this great plugin called Pixel Caffeine which I use and recommend. And so you can go and install Pixel Caffeine uh, into your WordPress. Um, this is something that honestly, if you have a webmaster uh, or somebody who helps manage your website, this is something they can do for you. And it's a really, it's a 10 minute activity. It's really cutting and pasting that Pixel ID um, into uh, a box. If you have Wix or Squarespace, it's very simple. Um, and the way I would recommend you approach it is you write, how do I install Facebook Pixel in my Wix or Squarespace or Shopify? And then what you'll see is you'll get a support article from each of those CMSs and you just follow the instructions. So it's really, really simple. And step one, retrieve your Facebook pixel. And they show you how to do that. And then add your pixel to your web, uh, your account. And it's relatively simple then to verify that it's firing. All right, Carol, well, thank you for the time and your attention. And I hope this was helpful to everybody. And thank you for being our guinea pig. I appreciate it. Thank you. All right. We'll see you in class, okay? Yeah, see you next week. Thanks. Bye.